What's up guys? Bobgar here. We're playing some What is up guys? Bobgar here. Playing some ten dollar bad rares in standard. These are this is a jank deck. This is one that we don't really think we're gonna win, but we play anyway for fun. I don't have a lot of gas here, but I think I'll keep. I got a lot of ramp. Um I can break the Hedron Archive for just cards if I really just don't draw anything else and get two cards off it, and then I'll probably find something in there. I don't really like getting both of my two Weaver of Currents. It's not really a card I like to have a lot of, but say hi, good luck. I'm a little scared. It's the day after the Pro Tour concluded, so I assume my opponents will all be running Pro Tour decks, or at least very, very fast decks, since that's what most of the Pro Tour decks are. Um, we also don't have, I don't think we have a lot of game off of, uh, what's it called? Aetherworks Marvel. Just because Ulamog shuts down most of the big threats we do have in the deck. Okay. And combat, he's holding for some reason. Okay. I do have stops everywhere, which he probably finds annoying. Oh, that's that's actually a pretty good one, too. Not doing it right away, but hopefully that'll draw us into something if he doesn't have removal. If he does have removal, it's not the end of the world. Um, there's some question of what I do next turn. Whether I slam Rashmi or slam Hedron Archive. I can't do anything big with Rashmi yet, so maybe Hedron Archive is just better. It's also. I mean, obviously, if he has Kill Spell here, I can't do that. Or I could slam Bounty of the Luxa. Which one of those is actually better? I like. I think I like Bounty of the Luxa more than Hedron Archive. Uh, he could have, like, Sensor here. I think I still slam it. If he has sensor, that's alright. Nope, nothing. Just sitting on two mana. Facing down Bounty of the Luxa. This deck is too strong. Can't be beaten. Well, we took a bad hand and it's definitely gotten better. We haven't gotten our payoff cards yet, but we have gotten kind of our mid-level cards. He cycles a land, that seems fine. I wonder what he is. Blue white could be some kind of control deck. He could be playing some kind of cycling deck. Oh, that one's not a cycler. Pass his turn again. He could have a counter spell up. Let's draw an extra card. Land. Well, I get to play around sensor, and I think I jam Rash me here, because I'm not that scared of him killing him with another copy in hand. Next turn I get two spells probably. This is some kind of counter spell. Void Shatter, that is totally fine with me given that I have a second one in hand. So I probably Weaver of Currents and then Rashmi next turn. I might do it in the other order just because I don't want to get censored, but he didn't have a censor turn two, so he probably doesn't have a censor now, but it's it's hard to tell for sure, so. Or maybe I actually maybe I Hedron Archive into Rashmi, that might just be better. He has another land. He could be playing Avacyn or something crazy too. Avacyn is 5 drop, right? Am I crazy? It's definitely a control deck. He's a 3 color control deck, which is interesting. Okay, let's draw 1. Then I get a bunch of mana. Well, I definitely have enough mana to do a lot. I'm going to lead on Hedron Archive. He could just go straight into Fumigate next turn. Okay, he lets that resolve. Um, I'm gonna rash me. I can always draw into more stuff too, so. He has another Void Shadow, that's fine. And then there's a question of whether I play Weaver. Maybe I do play Weaver just because what's he gonna do? If he has a Sweeper, it's not super good anyway. Uh, or this guy's not super useful anyway. I don't think I play anything else. I'm assuming he has a sweeper now, but and that means next turn I get to draw a card, I believe. Yeah, let's just get in there. I don't think I want to play my Weaver of Currents yet. I don't have anything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nothing I can't cast right now in my deck, especially off of a powered up bounty. I'm assuming he's some kind of control deck, which 
I don't know if we'll usually beat control decks overall, but it's certainly not the worst matchup. I do I did leave blue green up, so he knows I could have sensor. Hopefully he'll have to play around it. He passes. I draw well, not really what I wanted. I get another draw though. Land. Um, I could crack this. I don't think it's worth it here. Let's just I think no matter what I attack here. Well, I guess I whether I attack with Servant depends on what I draw off Rashmi. So let's lead off on Weaver. Trigger Rashmi. Uh, shouldn't I be able to cast that? It's a non lane card with convenient cost. Oh, it's not less, it's equal to. Got it. Alright. Uh, I think I'll bash here. He could have Avacyn. Maybe I just attack with Servant, because I don't really care about Servant dying here. Let's bash Servant. If he has Avacyn, that's fine. Um, I'm just trying to think of things that Blue White would have. I mean... Right? Uh, I should have used Archeedron Arc. I have no reason not to. Very silly of me. And then I could have played one. I could have played down Vitalist if I wanted to. Although I don't really think I want to play too hard into a sweeper here. I have no idea what his deck is still. Blue, black, white, somethings. Control. I mean, maybe I should be going more aggro and just swing it in here. But Glimmer. Glimmer is one of the things I expected him to have. I expect him to have a sweeper at some point too. Maybe this turn I've played out into it enough for him to bother with the sweeper. Uh, the thing is I recover really well because I'm getting a card every other turn off bounty. I can cash Hedron Archive in at some point for two cards, and I also have pay six mana, draw two cards off Spring Mind. So I have I have a lot of draw effects. If he has seven cards in hand, he's gotta start doing something. Okay, it's another land. One, two, three, four, five, six. This turn I'm going to get a lot of mana and not have a whole lot to do with it. And I mean, I might, if I don't top deck something, I'll probably just start off with uh, Cash in Mind. And Cashing in Mind will also trigger Rashmi at six mana, which is which would hit some of my stuff. doesn't hit my biggest uh, payoff cards, but it hits some of it. Okay, he passes. He could have Gearhulk here. Altered Ego is pretty good. Um, well, I can't. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Well, let's start. Do I start with Mind? Mind might not be that good. Well, I'm going to start with Mind. Why not? I don't think I'm going to cash this in this turn, so I'm just going to I'm just gonna Mind. Flip off Mind. Counter it. I still get my flip though. Probably at least wants to see what I hit off the flip. Okay. Oh, I get an alter ego. If I don't play it, it goes to hand. Let's not play that. I'll just have that one go to hand. Draw two cards. Alright. Did I play a land this turn? I don't even remember. I can lay claim something at some point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, kind of want to not attack with everything so that I can lay claim. I guess if I just attack here, I could attack with Rashmi too. I lose the Rashmi value for later, but yeah, let's just attack Servant. See if he wants to uh, flash flash a Gearhulk in here. If he does, I can lay claim it, because he'll be tapped out. Mm -hmm. Playing pretty defensive, I guess. Okay, he just takes it. Goes to 12. Eh, maybe I should be being more aggressive. Protecting Rashmi gives me a lot of value. I could alter ego, but there's nothing really to alter ego. I could lay claim, but it's nothing super important to lay claim. I think I just get an island here. I don't really need any of them that much. Play island. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I definitely don't need eight mana up. But I don't think there's anything I care that much about, so I'm just gonna pass here. Maybe I shouldn't have tapped Edorn Archive there. Get a couple more draw steps next turn. Okay, 
Is this Gearhawk? Gearhawk into Glimmer, maybe? Or it could be uh, Commit Memory or something. Nope, Glimmer. Just a normal Glimmer. Still waiting for him to play a threat. If he plays a threat, I'll just lay claim it. <laughs> lay claim it and copy it twice. Uh, <laughs> I feel like my deck's a little silly sometimes. Yeah, unfortunately I didn't really draw the things I wanted to draw. Okay, he has eight cards. If he doesn't play something here, he has to discard something. He doesn't even play anything at end, he just passes, he has to clean up. Seems good. Alright, he discards. Molding Glare, sure. I get to draw two. We both have a handful of cards, I just have more lands and more board presence, which feels like I'm in a pretty good position. I just I have so much mana now that I think I can just start charging my servant and my weaver in. We'll see what he does, if anything. Fatal push, sure. Oh, that fails because it's a three mana card. Uh, I meant to fatal push the other one or to have a permanent die first. Well, here this should uh, this should bring out his uh, either a counter spell or something if he has it. I'll cast that. Might as well. Now the question is whether he counters Honored Hydra or Alter Ego. Disallows. I assume Honored Hydra. Yeah, that's the right one to disallow. And I can't play it now because of how I tapped. And now I just have a 5-5 five, five Weaver of Currents. <laughs> yeah, I passed turn. If I had tapped smarter, if I had left one blue and one green up, I could have this turn embalmed that, which would have been the right decision. I just I was like, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to use the Hedron Archive thing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Eight's a lot. He's playing something here. All creatures get minus two, minus two until end of turn. Sure, that's pretty good. He has another removal spell, maybe another flaying tendrils, even. Oh, he just uh, he just murders that. Sure. Okay. Passes. End step. Draw two cards. All right. Oh god. As long as he doesn't have a counter spell, right? Um, he probably does. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna try it, right? Same word confusions. I don't. I don't play it to not try it. Well, caster two. Okay, one, two, three. Let's get a. I don't know, let's get a forest, I guess. I don't think it matters at this point. I'll play two. I'll put out a vitalist. And I'll pass turn. <laughs> oh god, he's gonna count it. Sensory or something. Oh, no. Oh, Essence Scatter. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh. I don't think he has anything for one mana, I could be wrong. Goes to six. I get a five five. He is no match for the bad rares in my deck. I've I've got three of them on I've got four of different bad rares on the battlefield all at once right now. We're doing it. This is this is how you do it. <laughs> Cycles a sensor, yeah, that's probably a good idea. I guess he could have censored this, but like I'm not, I'm mostly not playing into a censor, I don't think. I get to draw two cards this turn. I've drawn through half my deck though, admittedly. Oh, well, that's just a land. Another late claim. I mean, I assume he has some kind of kill spell here. Do I attack all? He might have one Gearhawk. I don't think he has multiple Gearhawks. I mean, 
the argument for not attacking with her is, you know, I'm gonna attack all, because if he has a, a single uh, glare, no, glare still gets me, doesn't it? This is Gear Hulk, I bet. Yep, that's fine. Well, I finally get to a state where I can lay claim his Gear Hulk and then copy it and then flash back something of my own. Seems fine. He's priced into blocking the Sandworm, though. Oh no, he's not because he can immobilize and glare. Which is, I think, what he would do. Oh yeah, immobil immolating glare. What the hell am I talking? I'm so dumb. Oh my god, this one's going to require so much editing. I'm going to edit out all the stupid things I say. That's what I do in all of my videos. That's not true. <laughs> oh, flaying tendrils. That's an instant, huh? Oh no, oh, not flaying tendrils. Uh, grasp, sure. That way he can block Rashmi. Oh, he's going to flay it. He's going to grasp Rashmi, block worm, take one. That's my guess. Or maybe he blocks her and just takes the worm hit. No, he blocks worm. Uh, seems good. This doesn't have flash or anything, right? No, nope. all right. He got me. Okay. Seems good. One, two, three, four, six, seven. I'll just, uh, I'll just take that if you don't mind. Do I want to copy it? It's, it's like the it's the other thing I'm thinking is like, and I could copy it. Ooh, I shook the camera a lot there. And I could copy it and then flash back. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to flash back on her Hydra. I think that's probably better anyway than copying it right now. Whatever. He's probably going to want to have a board wipe. If he doesn't, he's probably in a little bit of trouble. Uh, he gives up. All right, we got there against whatever the heck control deck that was. That was a lot of fun. I feel like running some confirmed suspicions, but I don't know if that's right. Definitely don't want any anti-aggro stuff. Um, he did run Void Shatter. I could ceremonies reject that. I don't think that's worth it. I'd be better off just running Negate if I really wanted Counter Spell. But I don't. I'm not sure that's worth it. He didn't see Sensor, so I think I keep that in. These are the ones I'm mostly considering. But we ran pretty well against him, really. We managed to resolve a couple of our big things like Boundia the Luxa, and we used them to take over the game eventually. I mean, it was slow, but it worked. It was, it was slow, but effective. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I take anything out here. I think, I think we run this back. I'm a little scared of what he could put in against us. Confirmed suspicions I like a little bit, but I don't know what I would take out for it is the problem. I could take out a Weaver. I mean, the Weaver actually was fine there. He doesn't have that much removal. Uh, Immolating Glare isn't that good against my Manid Orcs. And then he has Fatal Push, which is, as he as he learned, was a little hard to use against Weaver anyway. Uh, I'm just going to run it back and see how it goes. I'm, I could be doing this wrong. I am not the best at sideboarding in Standard, partly because I don't know any of the decks, and partly because, yeah, I, I, have, I feel like I have a game plan against Super Heavy Control, which I, maybe he was, but he didn't. He didn't have the ability to control me that well it felt like he didn't stop enough of my spells to be like i need negate to resolve my things um and maybe i should have put it in just because he had enough counters that um well i'm gonna this is a risky keep but i'm on the draw i'm gonna try it i mean the biggest fear is that he's just gonna have a ton of counter spells up but i go turn three spring into turn four bounty and to eventually turn Five or six uh, mines, and having lands against him doesn't actually seem like the worst thing anyway. I mean, we're not the aggro deck, so we're just different kinds of control decks. He's the one that like wants to counter and put in threats, and I'm the one that just wants to generate card advantage and dirtle. It's, hey, I got two copies of that. That's actually pretty much what I would have asked for if I could have. Uh, the only question is whether I slam it or try to wait for an opportunity of, of him tapping out. I mean, the one disadvantage we have is that he's playing at instant speed and we're playing at, obviously, sorcery speed. He has that. He could have sensor up now. Alright, land, pass. I mean, I don't 
really need to play into Sensor. I guess he doesn't need to play into Sensor either. He has Anticipate or something. Oh, he just cycles the land, sure. Cycling lands are pretty good. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of the cycling lands. There's a question of whether I run Spring into Sensor. I think I do, just because I actually don't care about Sp The only part I care about this is really Mind at this point, because of my hand right now. So if he wants to Sensor this, he can. Oh, he doesn't. I'll get a Forest. And that's my turn. And he cycles more. Uh, no, he doesn't even cycle. I don't know what he's doing. Maybe he just has a bunch of uh, gear hulks in hand or something. Well, next turn I can bounty the Luxa. Probably get it countered, but at least I'm playing around. I did want lands. I didn't want quite this many lands. I'll probably have a counter, but at least I'm playing around Sensor, which is probably like out of all the counter spells, it feels the worst, right? Bounty, and maybe I can resolve uh, Ovaya if he doesn't do anything. Ovaya actually feels relatively good against him if he doesn't have the Fatal Push. He has Void Shatter. Yeah, play down Ovaya. He can have Fatal Push, but that's the only thing that he's going to have against her. I guess not. At least not yet. And then I'm in a state where I go, well, what do I want to do? Do I just want to start pumping out a 1-1 token every turn? If he's not really doing anything, that might not actually be bad for me. He'll get card advantage slowly, but... Well, I guess it doesn't really work against his... Uh, he will have Flaying Tendrils at some point. Land. Well, I can't draw much more land. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'm about halfway through my lands. I can't do this this turn, so I think I just use Ovaya to make a token at end of turn. I mean, I'm kind of giving him free glimmers, I guess. Well, then I concede. I don't know. Maybe I slam. Well, I guess I should have attacked there if I was if I wasn't going to. One, two, three, four, five. You know what, I'm going to slam it. He probably has the counter, but that's fine. Can't play sensor on it, at least. He has disallow, that's fine. Yeah, I should have swung with her. Um, that's fine, too. He probably has flying tendrils in his deck still, which will still blow out Ovaya a little bit, but it's not the end of the world. One, two, three, and if he has Gearhulk now, I'm in a lot of trouble. Oh, one, two, three, four. Well, gear hulk me. No, all right. Well, after that, I'll just pass and make a token with uh, Ovaya. He said, "All oh, of the bounties." And I said, "The Luxos are bountiful today, apparently." It doesn't have bounty in its name for nothing. That's how you get them all. They're bountiful. He's gonna flash in Gearhulk? No? Oh, he's going to pull from tomorrow X a million. Well, that's annoying. That does give him pretty good control over the game. But I do have a Bounty of the Luxa online, which is nice. Hopefully he doesn't get Flaying Tendrils or Fumigate or other wipes off it, but other than that, I guess I'm not that worried about it. And he discards a land off it, it looks like. Plays the land. In end step, I will create a three, three, uh, one, one rather. One, one, boop. All right. Get to draw an extra card. All right. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Definitely play at least one. I guess I play, if I'm going to play one, I play... So if I play Weaver, I can make a 3-3. Three, three. Let's go with that game plan. So I'm going to play down Weaver of Currents, if he doesn't counter it. Okay, he disallows it. Do I want to do anything else here? I think I just pass and make a token. 
I don't really want to run... There's no advantage to running Servanite at this point, because Flaying Tendrils will kill all my stuff if I play uh, Servant and then make a 1-1, one -one, so I might as well just make a 2-2 two -two on his end step. I don't really need the mana from Servant right now. Maybe I should have played Servant down. I, I don't know. I guess it gives me one more mana next turn. I'm, I'm going to have a ton of mana next turn, it feels like. I think I'm going to have enough mana to... Well... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. If 6 of it goes here, then 5 of it would go here, and that's not that much, I guess. But 12 wouldn't really make the difference either, so it would just be... Well, no, I'm going to get an extra creature from the server anyway, so... I don't think it's super relevant. He has 6 cards in hand. Passes. The way goes to combat. No combat. Goes to end step, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, create a 2, 2, okay, well now I can create a 3, 3 with her, I get a draw step here to hopefully draw something good to spend all this mana on, although he presumably has counters for most of it, he's doing something on my upkeep, exile target artifact or enchantment, Sh sure, that's fine, it's not good for me obviously, but it's not the end of the world. Um, land, one, two, three, four. And I'm going to try for Sandworm Convergence here, and see if he wants to counter it, and if not, I swing for four. He does have another Disallow, it looks like. Void Shatter, same thing. Well, I still have another draw card in hand, and unless he has a kill spell for Ovaya, she is going to be pretty grindy against him. Although, unfortunately, if he has the Flying Tendrils here, I'm in rough shape, for sure. Maybe cycles a Sensor, sure. Yeah, I was playing around Sensor. Very true. Sensor's probably not going to do it here. So I can flashback this and still use her 1-1 one, one ability. I just can't use her 2-2 two, two ability. Or I can play this and then make a 4-4. Four, four. Probably better. Passes. I draw... Okay, that's not a bad draw. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. It's not enough. Um, I think I'm too scared of him having a Gearhulk right now. I'm going to attempt to play Servant and see what he does. He lets Servant resolve. Probably makes sense since I have another card in my hand, and then I think I just passed turn. One, two, three, four. I can make a four four at instant speed. Seems seems reasonable, not the best, but I probably should have attacked with at least the two two. Pull from tomorrow. It's five short. So he gains four cards, he goes up to seven. You have to play something on his turn or discard a card. He probably just plays a land though. Actually, he might play Flying Tendrils if he gets it. We will see. That's the thing that kind of blows me out a little bit. I do have a bunch of draw still, so I'm not super concerned with it, but it would be annoying. Plays. Alright, well, one, two, three, four, five. He found his Fatal Push. I'm make a four, four. Alright, you got him. Okay, he passes, he passes, he's pretty high on cards, presumably he has a counter spell here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, flashback, mind, take 2 cards, Two, three. Play another one. Play spring. Get another card. And I'm gonna pass turn here. I don't think there's any reason to attack in. You know what? Uh, that's a lie. I'm gonna attack in with my two little dudes. I'm gonna leave my four four back. I don't want my I don't want my four four to get eaten by his gearhawk. If the, if the little ones get eaten by his gearhawk. I don't care. Oh, 
Oh, he kills the uh, he kills someone that didn't bother attacking anyway. Fair enough. No. <laughs> Poor Timothy the Construct. He had his whole life ahead of him. Oh yeah, and of course he has a main land. Uh, he activated his main land after blocks. That was a fatal fatal flaw with that plan, but that's all right. He pays one white mana to cycle. I'm guessing. Cycles cast out. Sure. Um, I would love it if he went in hard on something here. He's down to five cards again. He has a lot of lands. I have a lot of lands, too, in fairness. I mean, I'm assuming he has... Yikes. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, let me tell you from what it's worth. Uh, he lets that resolve. That's good. Land... I'll spring. Get all the land out of my deck. I don't want it. He's actually gone further through his deck than I have through mine. Oh no, what does he have? Oh no, really? Instant destroy target artifact or enchantment? Fine. That's fine. I don't care. I didn't want that sand... I didn't want... Pfft. I didn't want that sandworm convergence anyway. Alright, well... Guess I just passed turn here. Uh, I got. Do I have two? No, yeah, I have two uh, mines in the graveyard, so those are probably my next couple turns. He didn't have a counter spell, which is kind of nice. Or maybe he had a counter spell and he just knew he had the answer in hand and doesn't answer that many things, so he figured it was better to do that. That's actually quite possibly the case. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, I'm gonna try this. Play down a Hooded Hydra. There's a counter, I'm sure. This one I can play for my Graveyard for four, so I don't feel too bad about it. Oh, just Glimmer as well? That's technically not a counter. I, mean, I still have an okay chance of winning here, depending on what he has. Oh, he, he found a counter. Is it Void Shatter? That's the one he really wants. It is Void Shatter. Well, not only did he manage to find the counter off Glimmer, he found the one that, that keeps it from coming back, so he did it right. Uh, let's get... Oh, he has a... Does he have a counter for this? Oh, he just cycles. So I was like, does he... Is he really going to counter my attune with Aether? Because that would be mildly hilarious. Um, I don't even know. I guess like a forest. I don't think he can actually do anything to hurt my guys now, so they're going to charge in recklessly. Five damage! Oh no, he has Fatal Push! Or something. Oh, that other one. Grasp. Grasp of Darkness. Fine. I only get in for three. It's pretty, I'm pretty okay. I don't really need my Mana Dork anymore. I have... I'm going to have 14 lands in play next turn. <laughs> this is a ridiculous game. Flying Tendrils? Or is he just going to activate his uh, Shambling Vents and stuff? Oh, he's going to activate one Shambling Vent. Does he activate both? That would give me a window. A window to resolve stuff. Ooh. Yeah, activate both of them. That's what I like. Okay. I guess he still does technically have enough for a counter spell, but only for one. Land. I'm going to start with this. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to have to get good stuff sometime. Uh, one, two, three, four. This is counter spell. Oh, it's negate. Oh, and he did. Oh no! I want to censor it though. Oh no! He has. It only took two mana, and I can't censor it. Maybe I mind here. I spring rather. I think I spring. Yeah, let's spring. Yeah. Pass turn. Oh no, Grasp of Darkness! Alright, you got it. Okay. 
Sentry 4. I do have a lot of good stuff still in my deck. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Well, that was a fun one. Uh, I kind of forgot that I was recording at some point in there. I started typing to him, started being goofy. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Wow, was that a grind fest. Well, I won game one. I should have bought my negates in game two. And I think if I brought my negates in game two, game two would have been pretty easy. But I didn't because I'm dumb. And so game two was really hard. I actually am not convinced he would have won it. Uh, but I, he might have. It's it's hard to tell. So, meh. And then it would have had to have been a game three. And I don't know. I'm just happy when my bad rare stick wins it all. So I'll take it. <laughs> Later, guys. Hey guys, Bobgar here. I just really wanted to quickly say, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you enjoy my content in general and would like to see more of it, subscribe. I'll be coming out with more content in the future. And please leave me comments and let me know what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong, both in terms of production and in terms of my play and my deck building and all that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you guys next time.